Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to another episode of Simplicity Made Simple. I'm so glad to have you here. I really enjoy doing these and I hope that you enjoy them too. As always, feel free to comment during the live video or comment when you watch the replay. I love circling back and engaging with you guys. That is my absolute favorite part of doing these videos. So let me know if you have any comments or questions and I will follow up with you. Today we are talking about simplifying holiday shopping because now that the holidays are officially underway, Thanksgiving is behind us and Christmas and New Year's are ahead of us, we are right in the middle of shopping and prepping for the holidays. I don't know if you're a Black Friday shopper, so maybe you got a lot of your shopping done already, but if you're anything like me, shopping takes more than just one day. And if you're not careful, it can feel really overwhelming. It can be really stressful and it can be one huge, huge obstacle on your to-do list that just feels too daunting to tackle. You might feel like you're shopping for an entire month because it just never ends. There's always more stuff to get. You might feel frazzled and scatterbrained about it, and I want to help you resolve those things. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about a more methodical, strategic, simple way, <clears throat> excuse me, of tackling your holiday shopping. Are you ready? Okay, so this is what you do. You make a list of everything that you need for the recipes that you're making. Whether you're having people over or you're going to someone else's house, whatever you're going to make, plan it out. And then create a shopping list based on those recipes. So put in all the food ingredients that you need, all the decorating pieces and supplies that you need to get your home ready for the holidays. All the lights, all the ornaments, all of those things. And then you put what you're buying for whom so that you can be strategic and make sure that you're not missing anybody. So write down all the names of people that you're shopping for and the ideas that you have for them, the budget for them so that you don't stress out about spending too much money and write that all down. Write out where you're going to get everybody and then figure out where you need to get all of those things from. All of the food, all of the decorations, all of the other supplies like wrapping paper and tape, all of the gifts that you're getting for people or the craft supplies if you're going to make things, whatever it is that you need to get for people, figure out where you're going to get it from and condense that list. So try to go to just one grocery store or go to um, a store that has food and home things or gifts so that you can tackle all of that in one trip. The goal here is to minimize the number of trips that you take so that you don't feel like you're running out to buy things every day or even every week. I want to make this simple for you and the easiest way to do that is to reduce the number of trips that you take. So pick fewer stores to visit, try to condense things, shop online and have things shipped to you or shipped to your family if it's for an out-of-state trip, however you want to do it. Look for some things online and try to condense those orders to you so that you're not making orders all the time, but have like a big order that just tackles everything so you can get it all out of the way. So plan it all out. Know exactly what you need to buy and for whom and where you're going to buy it from and then you can buy it. And again, keeping that budget in mind so that you don't freak out <laughs> come January about all the money that you just spent, but you can be mindful of what you're buying and how much you're spending if you go into it with that defined, specific list of who you're shopping for. And then just give yourself some grace and um, have realistic expectations. You don't have to buy the absolute perfect gift for everybody. You don't have to have that expectation that there is even a perfect gift out there waiting. And you can choose who you're going to buy gifts for um, and who you're not going to buy gifts for or who you're going to just make cookies for. Maybe you're going to decide that you don't want to make cookies for your neighbors or your coworkers, and that's completely fine. That's totally up to you. You do not have to do that. Um, and so if there's an aspect of this shopping idea that's overwhelming you, I'm here giving you permission today to do what you need to do in order to save your sanity and savor this season instead of stressing about it. So hopefully that helps you tackle the shopping end of the holidays. I'm going to be talking more about that in my cheerful, cherished Christmas challenge that starts next Monday, December 
third in my group, the Simple Joy Community on Facebook. And I would love for you to join me. We're going to be talking about the stress of the season, the shopping, the food, and the activities. It's a four-week series. It's completely free. I will give you the link to sign up so that you can get all of the wonderful encouragement and motivation to spend time doing what you want to be doing in this season instead of worrying and rushing and hustling to do all kinds of things on your to-do list that just stress you out and make you miss the heart of the holidays. Okay, that's it for today, you guys. I will talk to you again soon. Bye.